Um, and then also, but Brandon, I want to back up. I get to talk to you from time to time, so I totally airhead it out. <laughs> Everybody else doesn't get to hear you live very often, so may I say on behalf of everybody that we're thrilled to have you here tonight, live. Um, there's so much love poured out to you on the Google group and the emails that I've received. And I think the number one question is everybody wants to know, how are you doing? How am I doing? I am doing most excellent. I'm, I'm pretty much almost always in good spirit. Sometimes I feel overwhelmed because I'm trying to do so much. Um, my vision and my effort are always focused on, you know, trying to create something that's going to have the biggest positive effect on our world in general. So we're currently, well, you know this, Karen, that we're up to building you know, several private foundations, public charities, and various trusts that will facilitate this vision we have of taking competent groups of creditors and creating a network whereby those who are in situations that are difficult or challenging or in especially situations where they're at risk of losing their livelihood, you know, whether it be their home or something along those lines, we're, we're, we're creating something that will enable even someone with little to no knowledge to have a place to come where our, our competent group of creditors can step in and make a difference for that person. I realize that this topic is just so vast that it's really, you know, and most people don't discover it until they're already, like, in the shit, so to speak. Like, they really don't have any time to study. It's like, I'm losing my house next week, <laughs> and I yes. just discovered this, you know, or, or something along those lines. And, and so, and I realized that because of that, there's, you know, very little that they can actually learn on their own in such a short time. But at the same time, we don't want to enable debtors. We want to empower creditors. So we're not about just doing things for debtors so that they can go right back to being debtors. We're building this model in such a way that they will be able to actually look become creditors themselves and contribute to our vision and our efforts and endeavors, and if they choose, become part of our team, you know, and become a member of one of these private foundations or one of the trusts or the public charities, um, the, the trainings that we're going to be doing. Like, they can, they can find a place to assist to contribute and in the, at the same time earn as creditors revenue from it such that they can have this be their life work if they choose. Now, if you're the type of person whose heart is in creating for others and being in service to others, then we will have a model for that that you can become a part of, and that's and that's what we're building right now. And uh, and we will, and I will have a very competent, large, competent group of creditors by December. That will be the foundational group running these trusts and foundations and charities and things like that for the benefit of all the people. And I'm very, that's really one of the things I'm the most excited about right now is that aspect of what we're doing as creditors in commerce and the trainings that we're providing um, in the coming month. Um, so we will be training, we will be having a comprehensive training for all my coaches and for all of those who, are, who choose to become part of this group um, it's a seven-month-long training, and everyone who's a part of that will become the foundation of what we're building, and then we will have something where if someone discovers us a week before they're losing their house, we can do something. 
you know, and, and we can bring them in in such a way that we're not enabling them to be debtors, but we're actually empowering them to be creditors and offering them a way of getting out of being a debtor and learning over time how to operate as creditors, even though we will bring them solutions timely, we will be expecting of them to commit to becoming creditors as well in exchange for what they're receiving as benefits and services of credit commerce. Oh, that was awesome, Brandon. Thank you so much. I know you've talked about it at your seminars uh, about not having people just go home and, and forget all about the seminar eventually, but but having um, having this be a living, breathing group that uh, lives on and multiplies. Right. And does all these great and wonderful things. Yeah, honor to be a part Absolutely. of this. Absolutely. And Steve, that's, and that's why I decided to actually take action and create this seven-month training because I, I have it in my head. It's a very clear vision. And for so through all the workshops we've done in the past, I just assumed that if I put it out there, somebody else would build it. You know what I mean? Yes. Like I, did, I didn't expect I would have to actually build the network. I expected that the, you know, that the group, the people who attended our workshops, they would actually start to build the network. But now I've realized that I've got to take it a step further and actually just provide the foundation and the groundwork for the network you know, so that it can grow into as yeah. opposed to just putting it out there as a suggestion and hoping that everybody kind of follows suit on it, you know. Yes. Yeah, you have to pour the concrete and maybe do some of the framing. Yeah. Or, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> we can fill in the drywall and the electrical and the plumbing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How wonderful. 